If you're a student learning economics, this video is for you. In this video, you will learn to special goods and economics, substitutes and complements, and you will learn how prices of substitutes and complements affect demand. In economics, we divide all goods and services into two types unrelated goods and related goods. Unrelated goods are, wait for it, unrelated. They have nothing in common. For example, spaceships and potatoes. They have nothing in common. If people fly to space more often, it doesn't mean that people will buy more potatoes or fewer potatoes? Spaceships and potatoes are unrelated goods. And the second type, related goods, are, wait for it, related. They have something in common. There is a relationship between them. And related goods have two types, substitutes and complements. First, substitutes. Substitutes are goods that can replace each other when people can consume this good or that good. Such goods can replace, substitute each other. For example, white eggs and brown eggs, white potatoes and pink potatoes, whiskey and milk, apples and oranges. Why do people say that you can't compare apples to oranges? Of course you can. They're both fruits. They're both round. If you can't even compare apples to oranges, what are you doing with your life anyway? Substitutes are goods that can replace each other. But this definition is not going to help you solve problems. Because when you solve economic problems, you will need a proper economic definition of substitutes. So let's take a look at it. Goods A and B are substitutes. If the price of good A rises, good A will become more expensive and goods A and B are substitutes. Which means that people will replace an expensive A by a cheaper good B. People will buy less of A and more of B. Demand for good B will rise. Similar, if the price of A falls, the good A becomes cheaper. People will buy more of A and less of B. Demand for B will fall. For example, tea and coffee are substitutes. If the price of tea goes up, tea is now more expensive. Then people will buy less tea and more coffee. So that the demand for coffee will go up and the demand curve will shift to the right. Now, the second type of related goods is complements. Complements are goods that go together when people consume them together, when people consume this good and that good. Such goods complement each other. For example, bread and cheese, right and left mittens, a shirt and a tie. By the way, it's a word complement with the letter E, not with the letter I, because a complement with the letter I is when someone tells you, you look beautiful today, and you know that you don't. No, it's a word complement with the letter E, which means to complete, to make it better. Complements are goods that go together. But this definition is not going to help you solve economic problems. You will need a proper economic definition of complements. Here it is. Goods X and Y are complements. They go together. If price of X rises, X becomes more expensive. People will buy less of X and less of Y. So that the demand for good Y will fall. And if price of X falls, 
X will become cheaper. People will buy more of X and more of Y. Demand for good Y will rise. For example, coffee and sugar are complements. They go together. If the price of coffee rises, people will buy less coffee and less sugar. So that the demand for sugar will fall and the demand curve will shift to the left. Let's solve one more problem. When the price of one good falls, the demand for the other good shifts to the left. Are these two goods substitutes or complements? So what do we know? We know that when the price of one good falls, the demand curve for the other good shifts to the left, which means that the demand for the other good falls. So what is the relationship between these two goods that when the price for one good falls, the demand for the other good falls as well? Let's look at the definitions of substitutes and complements. And you can see that it's a very definition of substitutes. Therefore, our two goods are substitutes. That was my video on substitutes and complements. I hope that my video was a good complement to your education and a good substitute for a boring economic textbook.